well, that was the first thing I was going to mention, to be honest. Um, um, the, the, the thoughts of the Welsh team, and uh, I'm sure all the Welsh supporters are, are with Keith and his family at the moment, because you know, obviously the game of rugby and sport is very important, but obviously that's a lot, lot more important than this. Um, he's a very, very, he's an outstanding uh, player. We, you know, me and Rob was involved with that, uh, on the Lions, uh, but uh, his replacement is a very, very strong replacement as well. So uh, I'm sure the Irish will, will be uh, trying to give him as much confidence as possible just coming into the team. But uh, as I said, I think the most important thing from, from Keith's point, point of view is to say that we're all sending our best wishes uh, from the Welsh captain and I hope uh, his child's um, back and healthy soon. I mean, you're always really top place to be fair, but yeah, I'm very, very confident in the pack that we've got out. Um, uh, we, we know we're up against them from players in tremendous form um, from the Irish camp, which has been proven by the provinces, how they've been playing in the Hanukkah Cup, I mean, and the rugby man they've been playing has been absolutely outstanding. Um, so, so we know we've got our hands full tomorrow, uh, but um, you know we'd like to think we can bring our game to, uh, to the fore tomorrow. Uh, obviously, I'm looking at the defence, Rob's looking at the attack, and uh, you know, a counteract. You know what is potentially a you know a superb attacking team, uh, meaning the Irish team. I think if you look at Munster, Ulster, and Leinster, the way they've gone in Europe and continue have gone in Europe in the last four or five seasons, really, uh, they're going to feed. You're going to use every motivation possible in terms of their performances at the high level. I think the first 20 minutes going to be huge. I think uh, having played against Ireland many times. Uh, the unforced errors and being accurate in playing field position is crucial. The first 20 minutes in the Viva Stadium on Sunday uh, is going to give uh, either side the confidence to go on. I think when you look back at Rugby World Cup, the way we started and got points up on the score had a huge influence in the outcome of that game and I don't think it'll be any different on Sunday. It'll be a learning uh, curve for Alex on uh, Sunday and his first touch of the ball is the first tackle. Hopefully it's a positive one. Uh, there's no doubt there's going to be an aerial battle uh, coming his way. Uh, you know, Ireland like to put the ball in the air and I'm sure that will uh, be very evident in the first 10-15 minutes and we counteracted that in Rugby World Cup and uh, I'm sure our back three along with Alex uh, will do that on the weekend. And uh, It's great to have someone with the physicality a little bit different to Shane. Uh, but uh, his pace and his physicality is obviously a welcome addition to the backline. I think people have been tackling and jackling for uh, 100 years of rugby, you know, 100 odd years of rugby's been in, been playing, and uh, you know, the standard of tackle, the first up tackle is, is the most important thing, you know, to allow those good jacklers, and I think we've got you know, quite a few good good jacklers in our team, um, you know, to get in there and get in on the ball and. Uh, that's one of the beauties of the games of rugby union is the fact that um, predominantly every time the ball comes into play it's a contest for the ball and uh, obviously the breakdown is, is one of those contests and uh, it's something we're aiming to uh, excel again at uh, on Sunday.